Hello and welcome back. Have you ever taken a picture where um, you, you, you didn't like the results? Maybe the, the whole picture just looked kind of flat. The tonalities didn't have enough contrast. The whole thing was a little bit too dark. That sort of thing. Um, you liked the content of the picture, but you weren't happy with the way that the lighting and the colors looked. Uh, I know I have. I'm not a professional photographer. And I'm going to show you how you can do a few things in Adobe Photoshop that will help you uh, spruce up your image um, and, uh, and warm it up a little bit and give it the, the tonalities that, uh, that you, uh, you, uh, you want in your pictures. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, use some of your photo filters and, uh, and, and just a couple other things to, to help with this. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. As you can see, I've, I've picked an image here. Um, and uh, and it's kind of flat. It's a it's really not a horrible image, but uh, but this works with, you know, it can work with a pretty bad image too. Um, I've done it with a lot of different images. Um, but anyway, I have a picture of a beach here. It has a picture of a sky uh, in the background, and you can kind of see that the whole thing kind of looks a little bit blue. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unlock the background. I'll, do, I'll just double click on the background layer and click OK. And then I'm going to make a, a selection of the, the areas that I want to work with. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and simply work with the sky and, uh, and kind of the beach area. Those are the two areas that I'm going to work with in this image. You can certainly work with other areas as well. Maybe you would want to work with the fence. But this is what I'm going to do just to show you how this works. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to enter into quick mask mode. You can do that by going over to your tools palette and clicking this button right here. That's your quick mask button. Or on your keyboard, you can press the Q, and that will take you into quick mask mode as well. As you can see, this has been depressed over here. And uh, when I'm in quick mask mode, I'm going to take my brush tool, and I'm going to set the hardness probably around, let's go around 60 or so. And this brush is pretty large. Um, I'll go ahead and shrink it down. Since I'm selecting the whole sky though, uh, what I'll do is I'll just kinda with that brush color it all in red here. And I'm not gonna worry too much about this fence. As long as there's a lot of sky showing, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Because with these filters, it's it's going to it doesn't completely color in the area. It just kind of gives you a, a feel, you know, a kind of sense of, it kind of changes the hue or something. So I'll go ahead and just kind of make some real basic selections here. Okay. And there we go. And I'll go ahead and take my eraser and just clean it up a little bit. Um, I have a very soft brush on my eraser as well. I just do want to clean it up just a hair. Okay, and then uh, once we have that, we'll go ahead and take it out of the quick mask mode. And you can do that by pressing Q once again, or clicking this button down here once again. And then I'll, uh, and as you can see, you have the whole beach and the fence selected. And uh, and I wanted the sky selected, so what I'll do is I'll go up to filter, or uh, excuse me, I'll go up to select and down to inverse, and I will select the inverse, which is the sky. As you can see, I have some areas here that uh, that are part of the fence, and I don't want those, so I'll press Q again, and uh, I'll press B, and I'll just color in those areas that I don't want with my brush here, and that should take care of those. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to take up too much of your time doing this. If you wanted to, you could do all of these um, wooden uh, fence pieces, but uh, but I'm not going to. And I'll just show you what this looks like. So I have the sky pretty much selected, and I'm going to go down to um, my uh, adjustment layers, and I'm going to go and I'm going to add a new fill-in adjustment layer here, and that's this button down here. And I'm going to go up to Photo Filter, and with the sky selected, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select magenta. I'm going to give it kind of a, it's going to be a sunset kind of a look. And the, the more density you give to it, um, the more magenta it's going to be. I think I'm going to go around 40% in this one. But you can certainly uh, play around with that and see. And as you can see, the lines aren't real 
tight there. So um, the selection we made earlier didn't have to be perfect. And uh, okay, I'm going to go with that. And I will go ahead and select my uh, my my first layer again. With the, it's actually the picture. Uh, the second layer you can toggle on and off, which is the color of the sky. But uh, with the with the first layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and make another selection. So I'm going to go back into quick mask mode, doing it the same way. I'll press Q on the keyboard, and um, I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. And I'll go ahead and um, I want to get the ground now. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and since um, I got the the ground before doing this, I'm going to just make the same selection. And I'm just shrinking the brush down and coloring all in the sky here. So when I go out of quick mask mode, it should select uh, have the ground selected. And uh, I'm going to just do a real quick and dirty job, kind of like I did last time. Okay, and uh, now that I have that all selected, I'm going to press Q. And as you can see, I have the ground selected now. I'm going to do the same thing down here and add my adjustment layer. And once again, do a photo filter. And with the ground, I'm going to do this warming filter. And actually, the one that it's uh, selected right now, I'm going to stick with. It's a warming filter 85 if you want to use the same one. And uh, I'm going to just bump up the density kind of a lot on this one because the beach needs it. Um, I'm going to go up. Well, let's just, for to kind of make it a drastic difference, I'm going to go 95%. That actually doesn't look too horrible. Um, let's go around 90 actually. And you can kind of see the difference when you toggle on and off that uh, photo filter layer. It just really bumps up the color there. And if you want to, you can go back up to this one. If you think this one's now too much, uh, you can dull that down a little bit. And I think I'm going to. I'll take the, uh, the magenta photo filter that's on the sky. I'm going to take it down to 25%. Okay, so now you have this. And uh, pretty much that's the end of the tutorial. You can certainly take it from here and uh, do other things with it. But let me just show you right now uh, what we've done. Um, we started with this image. And this is the image that we have now. And as you can see, you've added a lot of, a lot of depth here. Um, just by add, adding a, a warming filter here. Um, okay. And like I said, you can do a couple things here. You could add a new layer. Um, and and you could you know maybe add a sunset. I'll just real quickly show you. I mean I'm not going to do it real well here, but you could just add a. Oh, you gotta pick the color. Just take your brush and pick a, a good sunset color, maybe orange. And go ahead and just put a sun right there. And go ahead and create a layer mask and just kind of erase a part where it's going down over the fence there. Yeah. Then maybe you can add another layer and, uh, and you could add a lens flare. Let's just do that real quick. These are just a couple options that you could do. Certainly you don't have to. So uh, what I did is I created a new layer and I uh, took my, my paint bucket tool and I, uh, with my black selected, I made the whole layer black. I'll go up to filter, down to render, and lens flare. And uh, I'll just select the first one with uh, my brightness set to 100% and I'll click OK. And as you can see, it creates something like that. With my lens flare layer selected, I'll go down uh, to my layer uh, blending modes. And I'm going to set that to screen, and that just pretty much puts that uh, that lens flare over my picture. Now what I'll do is I'll just drag that lens flare to where I want it, which is kind of over the sun. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm lazy, and I don't want the sun to look horrible, and the lens flare is going to block out the sun and make it look a little bit more realistic. And I'll just take the lens flare down a little bit, maybe 50%. No, a little bit more. 65%. That should do it. Okay. And, uh, and there you go. So you could. Uh, this is what you can do. You can add a, a lot of dynamics to your your uh, your photos. 
Um, right now, we've we've added a whole lot of depth, and uh, and it's 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 almost a completely different photo than what you started with. So, don't just throw away your photos because um, because they're a little flat or a little too dark. You can spruce them up with your photo filters in Photoshop, and uh, and go from something like this to having uh, a picture more like this. And uh, and you can do a lot of different things. Uh, graphically for that as well. So I, uh, I hope you learned um, <clears throat> I hope you learned something in this tutorial. Um, if you liked it, please click the like button in, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and, uh, and please check out my blog. It's Glaze Folio Design Blog. Um, and thanks for watching. Tell your friends and, uh, and please uh, feel free to like my Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Uh, thank you.